It looks like everybody gets attacked like every fifth level, pretty much. The problem with it being different concepts is it often references the other games in its own way. Well, it's still not an AoE attack. Oh no, it is! Alright, sweet! All enemies air hit. Hit? Alright, I'll take it. Can't use any points of references. I feel like I might be missing things because I, I can't I'm not doing the best job of keeping track of all the alternate possible paths tonight. How do I get over there? There's clearly a chest over there. Also, like, was this the right way to go? Like, what about this way? Well, let's try this way first. Oh, man, we gotta get Ziggy his AP so he can actually have his. Hey, we attack. Let's see Star Cannon. What the hell? Okay. I'm not sure what that was. Giant rod. <laughs> Here, have an asteroid. <laughs> That's about right, I guess. I don't know if Star Cannon is the right weight name for it, but it was a move for sure. He's almost got enough points for his, too. I get to that chest. Like, on the other side of this rock. It doesn't look like you can walk up to it. Hmm. Is this back this is back where we were with the other group. I'm gonna try hard for everyone. Star Cannon! <laughs> That's gonna make me laugh every time. <laughs> Such a weird move. Oh my god, the damage. Why would you ever use your gears in this game when you can do that on foot? Dang, that was embarrassing. There's no turning back. Let's do it. 
She doesn't even cost any EP. <laughs> she can just do it every turn. Everybody gets an AoE attack. There's no turning back. Let's do it. Not that Ziggy's gonna get a turn anytime soon at this rate. See how we're doing on this. We found most of the doors now. 16 we can actually open. We need to go at the, w the Woglunde. We gotta figure out where the keys are for what? 2, 3, 5, 13, and 14? This is the one we just found, right? Hmm. It's a cathedral ship, dock colony, foundation. You used Max more in part two and three? Okay. Twelve. Did we have that one? No, we don't have the door for that one yet. Okay, we'll, we'll be ready when we find it. Like, it's likely that I've missed something, right? So like. We'll get to the end of the game, we probably won't have all the keys or won't have found all the doors. Oop, cutscene. Man, you've got to be kidding. What's wrong? Oh. The UTIC Organization Central Tower. Labyrinthos. Labyrinthos? <laughs> and the sea gave up the dead which were in it. And death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them. And they were judged every man according to their works. That voice. I'm going into Revelations. That's Daddy. That's Mizrahi. Daddy! What? Oh, stop. Where are you going? Let me go! Oh boy. Daddy! Daddy's calling for me! Daddy? Is that really him? That's your and king is right. And hell <coughs> the it's never a good sign when a guy's preaching revelations like that. This is the second death. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast, cast into, into the, the lake, lake of fire. Of fire. Rejoice, all ye! The time for feasting has come! The hell? That's how he died? No! 
Dude went crazy. Daddy! That's what we're learning today. All this before me. Is this really Milsha from 14 years ago? Okay. So that happened. We're back to our non junior team. <laughs> Where are we now? The crashed helicopters. Whatever the hell this thing is. I guess there's no choice but to fight. Basilisks? You say so. Look at how fast that Ready? Already boosting. They start out with a boost. That's fair. Yeah, I don't think they want to remake stuff. I think they just want to... Well, <laughs> I don't think they want to remake stuff. I think they want to make new things. At the same time, they just put out Definitive Edition. Of uh, Xenoblade Chronicles, but you know. I don't think that there's enough... I don't think there's enough, like, call for a remake that they'll make one, you know what I mean? I think there's a lot of fans like you guys that would like to see a remake, but I think that there's just not that many of you. <laughs> I think a lot of people like this game, I think a lot more people would just rather have a newer Xenoblade. And so just from a money perspective, that's what they're gonna do. Poison's doing work Is right now. Okay? We've been working on a new IP for quite a while. I'll be interested to see what that ends up being. Wow, we're actually blowing through all our med kits. <laughs> We have so many hit points now that the med regular med kits just don't do that much. Do you really think this is a good idea?
Not committed to continuing Xenoblade, really? Weren't they already working on Xenoblade 3? They just take so much damage. Oh, this is her steel. Done. It's four points, huh? Oh, okay. He has a higher vitality than she maxed out at. Okay. What was that theory out of the water? His maximum is 63, hers is 53. He has something equipped that gives him vitality? 
No. He just has a higher rate, uh, max. Oh. Nobody's destroying shit. <laughs> the hell? <clears throat> That's the mascot that was at the ground on the ground at the park. It's alive. Are those giant carrots. It was okay. <laughs> Stuff going on here. The fact that you can buy stat points and so many stat points is kind of huge because like accessories are giving us like one two ether attack or two physical defense or whatever right and i can just straight up buy like 10 vitality or 10 ether defense it's like i just bought the equivalent of like five accessories combined or something like I feel like that's going to be overpowered. <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know the formulas exactly on how those translate. But like when the ex when the ring gives you plus two ether attack and then you can just go buy ether attack by the buttload, right? It's not even that expensive. You can just farm TP if you wanted to. It does seem to max out at a certain point though. I'm not sure what controls the max yet. Will this hit the back guy too? Yes, yes it will. Man, I wish she had an AoE attack too. Is there a way to get a second one of those brave soul accessories? I guess if I get their their skill points up enough, I could just teach it to them, right? Like they could they could extract it. It's like a level four. I think I think we looked at it. It was like a level four skill with like it costs like six hundred skill points or something. But I mean that's totally worth it. Not everyone's attack scale with strength. That's fair. Is there an ether equivalent? <laughs> yeah. 
No. Wonder how close we're getting to the end of episode one. There's only one disc, so I can't really judge it that way. It's supposedly like a 40 hour game. I think we're around 30 hours in, right? Twenty-four. I might have a ways to go still. It's a Xeno thing, so I'm, I'm assuming the story is not going to be short. <laughs> Plenty of time left then. Plenty of time left. I'm not asking because I'm looking for the ending. I'm asking because I honestly because I don't want it to end. I'm like thinking to myself, how much more time do I have to like work on farming up tech points and stuff for these characters? <laughs> I like that we're starting to get points faster. Actually, he leveled up. Does that change his max? He's still maxed out on these two. she's not anymore? Did she level up? Maybe she was 20.
His is up to 66 now. Oh, she already has that one. Okay. 